Hello everyone, today is Saturday morning, September the 22nd, 2018, and I am still out here in uh, Salisbury, North Carolina, working at the Rowan County Fair. Uh, today is the last day of the fair, but it doesn't open until 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and being as it is 11 o'clock right now, I've got a couple of hours to take things down a notch and enjoy this little park out here called Dan Nicholas Park. Uh, and thank you to Anthony Davis. Uh, he actually, before he moved to Galax, used to live pretty close by here, so he gave me a call when he found out I was in the area and told me to come visit this, this beautiful park. Right by the lake right here in the concession, it turns out that it is only $2 to get yourself a little ticket and rent one of these bright fluorescent colored paddle boats for 30 minutes. So for $2 to be able to get out on the water for a little while, have a nice soothing morning before what is going to hopefully be a very busy Saturday. Why not? Whoa, okay. Right, you good to go? Thank you. Decided to go barefoot because these pedals are really too narrow to be able to fit shoes down in there comfortably. Well, I'm coming up on the bridge and it's not raising for me. It looks like a draw bridge, but it's definitely not a draw bridge. Okay, we get to see what it looks like from underneath. Quite disgusting, that's what it looks like. Hey, don't bump your head. I'm gonna try to get over there close enough to that cypress to touch it. Yeah, I touched it. Wow, this is actually very, very relaxing. And uh, it's only been like 10 minutes. Oh, managed to get way on out there. There's why I rented my $2 paddle boat. And there's the bridge I just went over. And there's that nice family over there fishing. Just saw the little kid catch a big fish. And I am not getting any closer because I don't want to disturb their fishing grounds. Wow, this is really quite beautiful. They've also got some really nice lakeside walking trails out here. Now you guys didn't think I would go too awful long without highlighting something to do with the Civil War on this vlog. It turns out Salisbury has got something called the Salisbury Historic National Cemetery. And some of these graves are in fact for people that died in the Civil War. And it would be appropriate that uh, I would highlight this one because the Civil War actually started in South Carolina. This is North Carolina, but we are close by. It started in South Carolina when the Confederates, actually, they drew first blood, bombed Fort Sumter in 18 and 61. The war itself only lasted four years, ending in 1865 when General Lee surrendered. While I tend to have a fascination with the Civil War and its leaps and bounds in technology with things like the first time they had used a hot air balloon for reconnaissance, the first time a ship was sunk by a submarine. The changing in the rifling of the rifle barrels, the uh, experimental uh, artillery shells, tin can on a shingle, all the other ironclad ships. Those short four years, there was so much fascinating leaps in technology as a result of the Civil War. Even I lose uh, sight of the fact that the Civil War, because it was Americans fighting Americans, every single death 
was an American death. So it was the most bloody war, the most Americans died in that war than any other war that we have fought since then. Just to put it into a little bit of perspective, 620,000 Americans died in that war. If you were to add up all of the Americans' deaths in World War I, II, Vietnam, the Korean War, and the Gulf War all together, you would just about tie the number of Americans that died in those four, four years that made up the Civil War. Of course, at the time, the Southerners, the Confederates, did not see it as Americans killing Americans. They saw themselves as fighting for the right to secede from the United States and become a sovereign nation of their own. They wanted to become the Confederate States of America with Robert E. Lee as their president. Nonetheless, it turned out to be a colossal waste of life and a very bloody hard time and a big black spot in American history. With all the other future endeavors and sites, Civil War sites, that I do plan on seeing throughout the course of this vlog, places like Gettysburg and the Hunley and also some prisoners of war camps, um, I hope that I do keep things like this graveyard uh, in mind to keep it in perspective. These were real people that died, and they were just as precious as you and me. To live in hearts we leave behind is not to die. One country, one flag. All right, it's about three o'clock. I'm back at work now, and I've decided on the strange thing that I'm going to eat for this episode. I'm going to try this. It might look like a giant corn dog, but what this is, uh, this is actually called a dill dog. A dill dog. <laughs> uh, very memorable name. They call it that because it's made out of taking a dill pickle, hollowing out a hole right through the center of it, putting a hot dog through that hole, and then dipping it in corn dog batter and frying it as though it was a corn dog. And so, it comes out like this. Now, the customary taste test. It doesn't come out quite as disgusting as you would think. The pickle flavor in there is really not more potent than just having a pickle on, say, a hamburger. I kind of like it. It's a, it's a little big. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat this whole thing. But it's really not as disgusting as the name sounds. I love it. There you go. <laughs> That's beautiful. Like that. Somebody overexerted themselves out here in the hot sun. Again. Pro tip for you guys coming out to festivals, fairs, and things like that. Don't overestimate yourself. Drink plenty of fluids, take breaks. Don't let this happen to you. Well, your drawing is going to be on the website. Frame. Frame it. There you go. Well, it is now Sunday morning, September the 22nd, 2018. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning, and you'll be happy to know yesterday was, in fact, what I hoped for. A nice, busy Saturday. Finally, after losing all those days to the rain, it was good to have a nice paycheck there at the end. But the fair is over and it's quickly being disassembled and loaded back on trucks. I don't know where they're headed to next, but they're headed off to the next one. It's now time to get all of this into here. And just like that, we are all packed up, at least as far as the booth goes. Well guys, that is going to be it 
for this one. Uh, while I was out here in Salisbury, I braved three days of hurricane fallout, dusted off a Game Boy player for a GameCube, had my truck battery die on me, did some vlogs about some very random stuff, ate a lot of really great food, and now it's all over. At this point, me and Nestor are headed back to Tennessee for a few days, but next weekend we are going all the way out to Kentucky for the Casey County Apple Festival. Uh, so please, I've got a, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm planning on doing while I'm there. So please uh, come back and join me for that. If you like this, please don't forget to smash that like button. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Subscribe if you haven't already, and ding that bell icon so you'll start receiving notifications every time I upload a new vlog. And uh, share. Share this vlog around. I'm not real good at the other social media platforms like uh, <laughs> uh, Snapchat and, and uh, Instagram and, and all that other nonsense, Twitter, that kind of stuff. So if you guys could help me out and share this vlog around on some of those other platforms, get me out there a little bit more, get some more subscribers, that would be awesome. I love you all very much, and I will see you again in the next video.